Today we're going to take a look at the five best photo editing software that you can get your hands on. I've tested almost every option out there, and I'd say that the five I listed in this video are the best you can get, depending on what you want to do with them. I've put timestamps and links to the editors mentioned in this video in the description below to make it easier for you to navigate through the video. Let's get started. Number 5. GIMP GIMP is our top pick for the best free photo editor and comes with a huge array of professional quality functions for fine-tuning snaps and creating your own artwork from scratch. It includes layers, highly customizable brushes, filters and automatic image enhancement tools and support for a huge number of plugins, some pre-installed and others available to download separately. GIMP comes with impressive selection and montage features, various ways to retouch your images, cropping, noise reduction and colour adjustment tools, customizable brushes, gradients and so much more. There's plenty for the more advanced user too, including layer masks, bezier curves, filters and even an animation package. The interface is highly customizable and the GIMP community has produced a ton of excellent plugins that are all free to download. The program is loaded with tutorials and there's plenty of assistance to be found in the active and helpful community, so don't worry if you get stuck, help is always at hand. This software has a great full screen mode so you can not only preview your photos but also make basic image editing while using the most of your screen. Basic image editing here is like what Photoshop offers. If you can learn Photoshop, you can learn GIMP. A downside of GIMP is that it's a bit buggy and it's expected for software that's free and open source. Don't get me wrong, it's not buggy all the time. I noticed it freezes when you're trying to export and save the images. Overall, I'd say that if you want to get started with photo editing and don't want to get a high-end software, I recommend GIMP until you learn the ropes. Number 4. Canva if you're looking for an easy-to-use photo editor that's web-based, then you can't go wrong with Canva. Canva enables small and medium-sized businesses to create customizable graphs, prints and presentation slides with professional layouts, templates, frames, voice icons and more. It's a favourite tool for marketers in need to create pixel-perfect images for ads or landing pages fast. Canva has a media library, text and image editor, and a whole suite of tools that help you to make fun, professional images without the help of graphic designers. Canva is largely based around templates. Pick a category such as social media, Instagram or poster, and you'll be presented with a range of options to choose from, split into themes. You'll notice that even if you've selected personal, many of the templates have a business angle, but don't let this put you off. You can edit the text and graphics to your heart's content, so just pick something that appeals to you. One of Canva's best features is its impressive range of free stock photography, accessible via the Photos button in the left-hand menu. But if you'd rather work with one of your own pictures, click Uploads and either search for a picture or drag and drop it from your desktop. All uploaded images will be saved to your account, so you can use them again later. There's also an extensive range of elements on offer, including simple shapes and clip art. Canva is intuitive to use and its social media templates are particularly impressive, but it's probably a better choice for small businesses that want to stand out from the crowd than individuals looking for a photo editor. If you run a YouTube channel, a Facebook page or Instagram page, then Canva will get the job done for you. However, if you're a photographer and want to colour grade your photos and edit them to your needs, this is not a good option for you. Number 3. Skylum Luminar 4 Luminar is a non-destructive image editing and photo management software for Mac and PC designed to deliver professional results in less time than anything else currently available. Luminar uses artificial intelligence or AI-powered tools to make complex editing simpler. You can let the software do all the work for you, or take full control of each edit yourself. With this latest incarnation, Luminar 4 brings numerous feature upgrades and can be used as a standalone image editing application, or as a plugin for Adobe Photoshop CC, Lightroom, Photoshop Elements and Apple Photos. Luminar certainly ranks among the best photo editing software you can get right now, and we're in a time when image editing tools are heading in all sorts of different and exciting directions and the old tools like Photoshop are no longer the only way to edit your photos. Luminar and other Photoshop rivals aren't expensive either, so while there are a few free alternatives and some of the best free photo editors aren't bad, it's definitely worth digging into your pocket for a proper commercial product. 
Luminar's AI effects are quite stunning, or controversial, depending on where you stand on image manipulation and enhancement. The AI Sky Replacement tool is exceptionally good at identifying and masking skies and then seamlessly blending in a new one. The AI Augmented Sky tool can add planets, moons, clouds, birds or fireworks to your sky, mostly so well that you'll curse all those years you spent struggling in Photoshop. Luminar 4 is a good value alternative for traditional photo editors who want a competent set of tools at a good price. Really though, it's aimed at experimenters and image makers, photographers who are excited by the medium and its potential, but still relatively new to the genre. Its aim is to offer spectacular imagery without the time or technical know-how that's been needed in the past, and it certainly succeeds at that. Number 2. Adobe Lightroom When you need a simple and effective way to process, touch up and catalogue dozens or hundreds of photos, Adobe Lightroom is some of the best photo editing software around. A high-powered but comparatively easy-to-learn photo production and editing tool, pro and serious photographers use Lightroom the way traditional film photographers use darkrooms. They now have a choice of flavours, Lightroom and Lightroom Classic. The first, Adobe Lightroom, is primarily designed for serious amateur photographers who want to access their photos online and use some powerful editing and organising tools. Lightroom Classic retains the program's traditional interface and toolset for working professional photographers. Lightroom sports a refreshing, clean interface. It features the so-called progressive disclosure, meaning it starts out simple and then reveals increasingly complex tools as you need them. Lightroom Classic offers a suite of editing tools in its developed module, which can squeeze every last bit of data from your camera raw files. You could use the tools to edit JPEGs or any of the aforementioned file types, but it's in the editing of camera raw files where you'll see the most differences in your images. Some editing tools in the Lightroom interface include Treatment, Profile, Profile Browser, White Balance, Exposure, Contract, Highlights, Shadows, Whites, Blacks, Dehaze, Texture and many, many more. Dehaze and Texture were introduced in recent Lightroom updates and are powerful tools that don't exist in other image editors. Basically, I'd say that if you're a professional photographer, you definitely need to have Lightroom in your arsenal. It has everything a professional photographer needs and it'll make your job much easier and let you produce much better results. And number one, Adobe Photoshop. Photoshop started the digital image manipulation revolution 30 years ago and Adobe's groundbreaking application continues to move forward as the best photo editing software money can buy. Whether you want to edit photos, create templates, manipulate images or create a logo for your new website, Photoshop can do it. If you need layered image editing, including typography, 3D modelling and drawing, then you need Photoshop. Designers and photographers alike find the most and the most advanced tools available for their crafts in this application. AI-powered portrait selection, automatic font download and better control over raw camera file conversion appear in the latest update. Though it's now packed with drawing and font tools, Photoshop got its start as a photo editing and printing application, and it remains the most powerful photo editing software. Along with its completely photography-focused sibling, Lightroom, Photoshop offers the most support for raw camera files, and most in correction and effects. From removing or adding objects with content-aware tools, to lens profile-based geometry correction, to histogram adjustments, to stained glass effect filters, Photoshop has it all. The object selection tool is by far the best addition to the newest update. Adobe now uses Sensei's artificial intelligence to identify objects in a scene and automatically create selections. It's pretty darn good too. Obvious examples of it not working 100% are busy environments that have lots of crossing over such as foliage or complex architectural backdrops, but even then it does an amazing job. Photoshop can do pretty well anything, but you have to bring your own ideas and inspiration, and you'll need to know your way around Photoshop's powerful and extensive toolset to bring them to life. It's pretty difficult to sum up every feature in Photoshop without writing a book about it, but it's possible to explain broadly how it works and some of its most interesting tools. Photoshop works directly on the pixels in your images, so it's not a fully non-destructive editor that lets you wind back your changes at any time. By using its system of layers intelligently, you can backtrack if you need to, but only at the cost of massive image files in the proprietary PSD file format. If you want the absolute best in terms of editing capability, Photoshop is the answer to your search. 
but some beginner and enthusiast users might be better off working with a simpler program such as Photoshop Elements. Many Photoshop users will barely scratch the surface of what it can do, but if you want to work with the industry standard, this is it.